So this is a video to educate you on what to do when you get your iPhone stolen, which is what happened to me last night. I was walking down 6th Avenue as I'm walking here now after a long day at the studio. And yesterday I had a backpack on with my computer, also an open bag, my open purse. And it was a rainy day, so maybe I look like an easier target, but I felt so violent and traumatizing. I realized a few blocks down uh, on 6th Avenue and 42nd near Bryant Park that my other iPhone, my personal iPhone, was no longer in my bag. I usually carry two iPhones with me. It's one personal, one work. I had a bright neon pink MagSafe case inspired by Barbie this year on that iPhone 15. Okay, so the first thing you do when you notice that your iPhone is missing, you go to the Find My Feature locator on every iPhone, and it basically shows you the location of all Apple devices that are on your iCloud ID. And I noticed that that iPhone 15 Pro Max was at around 42nd and 6th in the Bryant Park area. So I thought, okay, maybe I left it behind or, you know, just something innocent happened. I did notice on the Find My locator that the person that had my iPhone was actually pretty close to me at some points on the streets. So they know what I look like if they took my phone. I don't know what they look like. So that was a little disturbing. Next thing you need to do once you realize your iPhone is stolen is you need to erase that device. Don't forget, they have access. This phone has access to all your documents, all your iCloud photos, conversations. So there's some major privacy issues there. You need to then cancel this device off your iCloud. So it has no access to your Apple Pay, your credit cards, data, contacts, conversations, photos, iCloud access, passwords. The other thing I did when I noticed my phone was missing is I called the telecom company. In this case, the telecom provider was AT&T and shut down that SIM card. So then it has no access to your phone and you can put it on another device. So then I went to the police and said, what can we do here? And they said, look, we're not gonna waste resources and send a cop up to track or find your Apple iPhone. And they said, it's just not worth our time and our manpower. So what they can do is they can shut down the IMEI, which is that individual unique Apple iPhone indicator, a serial number. And that means that it's not gonna be able to be used with any SIM cards in the future. So it's basically a useless brick. Remember at the end of the day, it really is just an iPhone. You can buy another device. I'm just so grateful that nothing else happened. Nothing else was stolen. I wasn't hurt. I go call my mom. Things are fine.